was it like without the internet and social media wave? Um, I was raised with the beginning of the internet. Uh, I did not have an iPhone growing up. I didn't have a phone until high school. So I'm right at the beginning of the internet and social media wave. Um, I did play outside a lot. I wasn't allowed to play video games even though they were out. Um, I played in the outside, so I went in the, like, I live by Lake Chabot, which is a recreational park, and so I was able to go outside and play with sticks and stones and normal things like that. <laughs> Uh, social media has impacted society as a whole and as well as our community because people are um, not communicating uh, as effectively as they c can be. I feel like also people are getting hunchbacks more because we're doing that motion constantly. Um, and so I feel like there is a learning curve that's happening with the introduction of social media and um, internet and technology. I do think it is a good resource. My thoughts on social media are positive. I have a family, all my family is outside of this country, so social media provides a great opportunity for me to keep in contact with them and it's free so it makes it super accessible and for example my niece lives in Iceland which I get to see her post photos of her daily routine and I don't feel like I'm away from her as of when I was smaller and and there was not Facebook Instagram and social media I would go for years without talking to her because it was so expensive to call so there are positive things So social media has also stressed out um, people around me, specifically older generations, so my parents and their uh, community, because there is a strong um, kind of gap that I notice happens with how to use this tool in a way to communicate with others. Um, uh, so I think that it is positively affecting people, but also uh, has the potential to be a negative influence. Um, most of my time on uh, the internet specifically, you're saying? Not social, okay. So most of my time spent on the internet is using Netflix to watch m movies and TV shows. <laughs> Um, and I also email, um, so that is both um, mostly uh, personal and professional. I use it for my art career as well as starting with teaching. Emailing is a very huge thing. Um, and uh, I also use it, I use Instagram most frequently specifically because of the uh, marketing aspect that is behind it, but I also just enjoy the social media of Instagram. So social media has played a huge role uh, within the internet structure because it's providing uh, opportunity for people to socialize through digital format. Um, and I think that's something very new. It has affected me kind of, like I said, in both positive and negative ways. Um, it instigates me to be a little bit more antisocial, but also I am social with people that I ha would never be able to speak to in person. I'm talking to them through social media. So um, I think there's maybe a different framework that is um, uh, needs to happen in our minds of is it useful or is it just wasting time and how we use it. Uh, I think it's um, a personal thing uh, as well as uh, you know, if you're publicly kind of using it in a negative way, um, that's also bringing other, other people in. But I think it is a personal thing. I think we can all waste three hours watching Facebook videos and Reddit, um, but is that really a useful uh, use of our time? <laughs> I think it's a personal so it, we're, we're to blame and
problems that exist within social media is to uh, communicate and actually learn from what's happening around us and how it's being used, not just say that this is how it's being used and it is being used in a negative way, but let's start changing that conversation and actually implement uh, it into our own personal life. So. Um, don't waste time in, uh, in it or don't use it negatively for yourself and that will hopefully push on to other people. Well most people you know you, like today you, you kind of hide behind it but without it you had to actually go up and shake someone's hand to, to meet someone. You couldn't just send, send a, a impersonal email to someone or a text and hope they respond and see did they get it or not. You actually had to go up to someone I think it has made a negative impact on society. Uh, kind of like I said, it's made people impersonal. You know, say you have 4,000 Facebook friends. Are they really your friends? Are they just people that happen to know you through through Facebook or whatever social media site, site you use. I think it's become more useful as far as businesses go. I think uh, as far as uh, people's social life, uh, as they call it, uh, I think it's really not useful. Like related to you. Uh, most people I know, they don't use uh, social media sites because of all the negative impact on it and what can happen with identity being stolen, stuff like that. So it's an extra layer of protection by not using it. Well, since I don't really have social media sites, I don't use it on social media. So it would be uh, business or work. I think it's I think it started uh, with businesses, and the, and then it's developed uh, what people like like, and then and then society has promoted the the good and the bad, you know, of it. But I think they try to focus on the good, especially the companies involved, and they try to hush up the negative parts of it, so everyone thinks it's all good. Who's to blame for the negative influences? We probably, I think the companies are mainly to blame, the ones and the people running them. I think if they would have set it up right from, from the beginning, then you wouldn't have had all the ne negative uh, impacts from it because it would have been outlawed from the get-go. I would scrap it and start all over because it has got so bad. You know, like the internet, it was originally just supposed to be used for the government uh, in case there was a nuclear war so they could communicate with each other, you know. So, I, so if they would have stuck to that, you know, there would be no social media, no internet for the common person. It would just be for, for basically like the president and the CIA. I think if you scrap it and have it heavily regulated by the government, then I think it would take all, that, all the things that people do illegally or negative towards it away.